Hi, uh, my name's Kate Clanchy and I'm a writer and a poet and a teacher. So I've written books of my own, um, but my most recent book is this one, which is about how to write a poem. And one of the things I'm most passionate about is getting young people to write. Um, and this is a book of my students' poems. Um, and this is another one which I, I produced over lockdown with with the students so this is not kind of an official um publication but this is the kind of thing that people did in their own rooms and that's what i'm hoping to encourage you to do today in guernsey because there's nothing better to do over the pandemic or when you're just at home on your own than to write a poem so we're interested we wanted to see and you've also got to have when you're writing you've got to have somewhere where your poem's going to go so what we're hoping is that you're going to write a poem and submit it to the young people's category of the Guernsey Poetry Competition. So your poem has to be a short one, no longer than 14 lines, and it needs to fit on a single page of A4. And that's not because we're trying to squish your creativity, it's because we want to put your poem on the bus and that bus is going to go all over Guernsey. You can enter right now or any time before January the 15th, 2021. You can submit more than one poem and entering is free of charge. When your poem's ready to submit, you need to go to www.poemsonthemove.com. So if you do want to write a poem, where should you start and what should you be looking for within yourself? Well, I always tell people People will think, you know, okay, you've got to be an original genius. You've got to be a special sort of person. It's not really like that. I think really the biggest thing you need to do is read some poems. And there's lots and lots of poems available on the web, in books, in the school library. Make sure you read some. And you can look at poems too. There's lots of, in, in the modern times, there's lots and lots of um, contemporary poems available on the web being read aloud. And I always recommend people to go to Button Poetry, Poetry Foundation, Young Poets Network, and get into some of those poems. I'm going to give you one particular idea now, um, which is based on one of my students' poems. Um, and this, this seems to work for an awful lot of people. So Rakia was 17, and she was a migrant from Bangladesh. Um, and she wrote this poem. She was reading Tagore, who is um, the great poet of Bangladesh. And this poem is called My Mother Country. My Mother Country. I don't remember her in the summer, the goon water sizzling, the kingfisher leaping, or even the sweet honey mangoes they tell me I used to love. I don't remember her comforting garment, her saps of date trees, providing the meagre earnings for those farmers out there in the Gulf, under the calidity of the sun, or the mosquitoes droning in the afternoon, or the tipper-tapper of the rain on the tin roofs dripping on the window, I think. So if you read a poem and then you think about it, then you can borrow its shape. So if you're going to write I don't remember poem, I don't remember poem like Rakia. Think of a place that is special to you, a place that kind of you come from in your heart, and a place that you've lost. So maybe it doesn't have to be a country. It could just be the house you used to live in, the room you used to have, the school you used to go to. Um, and try framing in it in instead of I do remember, I don't remember. So think about your five senses. I don't remember the smells. I don't remember the tastes. I don't remember the sounds. I don't remember the feeling. Make as big and rich a list as you can. All the things that you don't remember about a particular place. Maybe you might want to end on something that you do or don't remember about a person. And make that the beginning of your poem. 
When you're writing up a poem, I always think it's quite a good idea to put your ideas together and then leave them for a bit because poems are a bit like bread. They benefit from a bit of proving and a bit of rising. So if you put your ideas together and then you come back and you shape them um, and you think about that 14 line restriction, which means you'll be taking away all of the words that don't work. Try to resist the temptation to take away all the big, grand, important words um, and go for it, just keeping the, the ones which are very sensual and very real. Remember, it's about your real experience we want to know. And it'd be brilliant if we got a portrait of all the different young people's experiences of Guernsey. Just take your time with it. Maybe you'll find a rhyme in it. It doesn't have to rhyme all the way through. See if you can find a rhyme rather than put a rhyme in. If you have got a rhyme, it might work well at the end. Okay, good luck, and I look forward to judging all your entries. <laughs>